it's cold, it's wet, it's Norwich away. Off the back of two defeats, I'll be honest, we had more than enough chances to, to come away with, with six points from the two games. The first half performance against Coventry was really, really strong. Um, but once Coventry scored their goals, the sort of heads dropped and we come away with nothing in the end. The game against Rotherham a few days before, again, we had enough chances to win that. Hopefully our luck is a little bit better in front of goal today. Uh, against the Norwich side who are chasing the playoffs. They've got some good players and Timu Puki certainly knows how to find the back of the net. He's been really good for Norwich, not only this season, but in the previous seasons as well. I'm not holding out too much hope. I'll take a point from this one. So I'm going to go Stoke 1, Norwich 1. Scorers, I'll go Timu Puki and let's go for Lewis Baker. Without further ado, let's get down to East Anglia and let's get dry, more importantly. Come on, Stoke. news is in just the two changes from the defeat against Coventry last week. Harry Clark comes in for Dujon Sterling who's out with an injury and then Campbell drops out for Jacob Brown who returns to the side. Still sticking one all. I think if any team's going to win it though it will be Norwich. I'm not too confident. Norwich haven't won against the side in the bottom six and then obviously Norwich's form. They're going to have to win it sometime. I'm not confident. I'll take a point though. So yeah, come on Stoke. Morgan, score prediction. Uh... 2-1 Stoke. Andy. I'm going 2-1 Stoke as well, mate. We're going to lose 2-0. <laughs> <laughs> Stoke Norwich. Stoke Norwich. Stoke Norwich. Stoke Down the man in the middle. 
We've had a couple Jacob Brown's header, probably the biggest chance for us just after the goal. Just couldn't get enough downward power on it. The goal itself though, Baker gives it away in midfield. Puki in and out of Wilmot, Re really nice play from Puki to be fair. Wilmot then slips on his backside. Uh, Puki has the shot, good save from Persic, but Aaron Ramsey is there to slot home. Norwich have had a couple of other chances but have dragged them wide into the second half. I think. We've definitely had the openings, it's just been the same as in the last couple of games where we've not put the ball in the back of the net. It's frustrating, I hope we score, I think we will score, I think we'll get some scrappy, sticking one all, come on so.
Mason, Crown, Patrick Clark on the edge of the box. He's got Mason around him. Clark's got it now in space. He's pulled it back, looking for power. Coming out the ground after Norwich 3, Stoke 1, um, not great at all, really really poor performance, Norwich didn't have too many clear cut chances at all, but I tell you what they made them pay, Aaron Ramsey got two of the goals, um, Powell got the uh, consolation at the end, but really really poor performance, long journey home now uh, before we make the trip to Wigan on Wednesday night. I will be there, but we just didn't take our chances today. We had more than enough to definitely challenge, especially early on in the first half. Pretty much playing a lot of our football in in their half, and we just didn't have a clear. We didn't. We had well, we had chances. We just didn't put them away. Again, we are slowly falling out of that playoff chase before the World Cup break, which isn't great at all. But yeah, if you have enjoyed, drop a like, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next one. Go on, Stoke.